like a boss. All right, ladies, this is Alex from My for Attraction, and today, oh, sorry, this, this, this is not an earthquake. And today, we're going to be talking about three traits that men want in a woman, but they just want to admit to it. All right, and the reason why I say they want to admit to it is because it's not socially politically correct um, to be wanting a woman like this. All right, but I'll be honest with you, behind closed doors, this is what guys praise women about. You know, what guys want is not what women want. And what women want, surprise men. And what men want, surprise women. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm about to say, it doesn't sound nice. It is not, um, some of you guys cannot meet those standards. And that's why some of you guys are going to get mad at that. But hey, man, I found out that women like guys who are 6'4", 6'3", 6'2". I'm fucking 5'10". 5'9". But 5'10 with shoes. You see what I'm saying? So what am I going to do? Get mad? Like, like, I know women like guys who are taller. Right? But I accept it. So you motherfuckers accept this shit too, okay? Take it too, all right? You guys are not the exception, all right? So, and again, this is just human nature. Human nature is not pretty. Human nature also led to genocide. Human nature also led to bestiality, to fucking other Neanderthals. You see what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, don't put nothing outside of the range of possibility with people. Yourself as well. So the first one is this. Is um, feminine. Being feminine. You know? Look. I made a mistake when I was younger, when I used to make these videos, and that's how I taught you guys too much savage shit. I taught you guys to be too much like savages. It's not good. It's going to turn you ladies into wildebeest. You don't want that. You want to be feminine. You want to learn how to have control without putting, with, without putting your hand in it, you know? Like, nobody likes a masculine-ass bitch. Nobody wants that shit. Nobody wants a, a woman who wants to control you as a man. Because if you let the woman control you, she's going to get turned off. It's like a pig. You put a pig in a fucking, and in, 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 put him in an environment where it's not supposed to be a pig, it's going to, it's it's not going to look like a pig. It's going to look like a little piglet, you know? And then, put, you know what I'm saying, how pigs look different when they're in a farm as opposed to in the wild? A woman feels different, feels better when she's feminine than being masculine. And this is the truth, ladies. Masculine women will end up alone. I'm just letting you know that. They will end up alone. They, they, they will end up alone. The feminine ones are the ones that have a higher chance of, of dying with somebody next to them. But if you're masculine, I am telling you, you will end up alone. Most likely, you will end up alone. Unless you get lucky and you get yourself a nice little man who will do everything for you, that was there for you at the end of your life, which is possible. But genuinely, no. You know, you, you ladies have to learn how to be more feminine. It, it, I know it's easier said than done, and I know it sounds crazy, but just watch the videos on femininity, and, and, I'll, and I explain to it a little bit further. But that's the first one, femininity. No dude likes a masculine-ass woman. Nobody likes that. The next one is sexual. It is what it is, right? It's not politically correct, but a guy likes a woman who's sexual. Look, let me tell you something, and this is why I say some of you ladies are not sexual. Just even in your genetics, like some of you ladies in your genetics don't enjoy sex as much as most women do. You know, some of you ladies, it's just how it is. Some women are more sexual than others. Some women are in the middle. These women, the women who are sexual, but also healthy in the mind, healthy in the mind, your sexuality comes out of a desire, not out of a need to be a slut or out of a need to suppress pain. That kind of sexuality is, 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 is something that you don't find in every woman. You know, like, 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 it, 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 let me be straightforward with you. For example, it's kind of like the woman who enjoys pleasing her man, right? And I bet a lot of you ladies are like, mm, of course you would say that. You see? You see? That's what I'm talking about. You see? that That's exactly what I'm talking about. You who say that. Because the women who I'm talking about are the ones that say, yeah, I love pleasing my man. But if you're the woman that says, oh, of course you want to be... I don't want you. Don't, don't, don't even talk to me. Don't, don't even go, go, go talk to Molly Rosenfeld about that, okay? Because that's exactly the attitude. You, you resent the fact. You resent your own nature. You gotta be proud of what you, of, of, of your nature. Like, 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 if I was a woman. No. What am I second day? No. Mm -mm, absolutely not, right? But what I'm saying is that, like, it's 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 kind of like women 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 see it as a bad thing that that they're the ones that please the guy quote unquote to please the guy right even though not all relationships are like that but what I'm saying is that 
it's, it's kind of like a guy likes a woman who likes to give without getting a return. And I know it sounds crazy, but the video is what guys like, but when admit to it, right? Look, don't, don't, I don't give a fuck what your guy tells you, baby. This is what guys think. This is, this is the type of shit that guys think. Guys want a woman who's feminine. And guys want a woman who's sexual. And I'm telling you, some guys have that. And I'm telling you, those guys are happier than when than, than the guys that are with masculine women who are not sexual. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, look, I get it. Semi ladies are, are, are in a different age, are a different point in your life, and that's not possible. But femininity is possible. I don't fucking know, to be honest with you. I don't fucking know, okay? There's some things that I just don't know, all right? I understand that some have my own limits. But what I know is that femininity and, and, and sexuality in a woman who likes sex, who likes to please, oh, Lord, am I going to have a tough time to let her go? And that's the thing is that some of you ladies are mad when I say that because it's just not you. This is not who you are. It's just not who you are. You don't enjoy it. And it is what it is, but I'm telling you, lay in the bed that you make because it comes with consequences. It's just how it is, man. It comes with consequences. Keep your man's balls empty. And I'm telling you, he's not going to have a lot of a lot of time to cheat. I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. There's some things that I just don't know. The last, that, the last one is she gives him space. That's the last one. The, most, the next trait is that a man wanted a woman, is, but one of the two is that she gives him space. She can sense when that guy wants space. Ladies and gentlemen, I to this day I have not actually no. Maybe. I to this day I have not met a lot of women who could sense what I when I need space. Ladies, you gotta learn how to sense that. Or better yet, not even sense it, but just put it in put it in your character as a as a as a um a just in case. In other words, give people space just in case. Give people more space than necessary, just in case. You know? Especially when you like the person. Because a woman could be feminine, a woman could be sexual, but for the love of God, if she doesn't give me space, I'm going to get tired of that shit. It's just what it is. And you know what? I'll be honest with you, out of all the three, this one is the most important one. Maybe. Because God, if a woman doesn't know how to give me space, I don't care how long you suck my dick for I don't care how long you gargle, you gargle my my balls in your mouth. I'm gonna get tired of that shit. My dick is gonna get tired of that shit. You see what I'm saying? So you gotta give a guy space. Learn to give a guy space. Don't let your anxieties dictate how much space you're gonna give them. See what I'm saying? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Alex from Mindful Attraction. Um, having a seminar in New York City, October 26th. Is it 26th? Let me make sure. Let me make sure, people, okay? 26th and 27th. It's going to be from 10 a.m., no, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., okay? So attend. See you guys there. And no, it's going to be, it's either from 10, it's either, it's either going to be 11 or 10, and most likely 10, just give me more space so I could do more things, you know? But yeah, all right, guys. See you guys later, and peace out. Everything that you need about that seminar. Is on the link below. All right, ladies. So finally, I have released my second course for women, which is natural chemistry. This course is a five-week course. Five-week course where every week you're gonna get a new set of videos based on based on specific issues. The, this course is all about how to create and maintain the attraction in any man. This will help you create love. This will help you deepen the love with your man. This is not about manipulation. This is not about playing games. This is genuine, genuine, natural chemistry. No more short-term partners. No more being fooled. Why? Because I will reveal to you not only how to create attraction in the first week, but also how to understand male nature, how to understand their tricks, how to prevent from being a too attached, signs that he's the wrong guy, signs that he's a narcissist, signs that he's a mama's boy, signs that he's an emotionally available guy, emotionally unavailable guy. We go over everything. We go over the third week, setting boundaries. We go over the third week, controlling your emotions, right? Setting boundaries, fourth week, fifth week, embracing your masculine and the feminine, right? And on top of that, I come, I have over 10 different bonuses, 10 different bonuses, my Lord have mercy, right? With, with a money back guarantee. The bonus are one, 
the natural chemistry, over 10 hours of content, right? The breakup formula, how to deal with a breakup, right? The connecting with your man, right? Establishing a life of abundance, social mastery, understanding your dark side, the goal setting seminar, which is about how to set and achieve goals, practical mastery that will teach you how to master anything. The laws of human nature. I will come that I have a book club for the laws of human nature where over four hours of content, right? The transformational seminar in a pocket, which is my mindfulness seminar and the Chase audiobook. This is a this originally is one thousand eight hundred dollars, but you get it starting at ninety seven dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Right, ninety seven dollars. We have different packages, but all of this starts at ninety seven dollars. And you know what? You can check it out for free if you want. Yeah, for all the freeloaders, I have free videos just for you free videos all right so you could just check it out for free and then you could get out nothing wrong with that all right so and on top of that it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee no questions asked that's right no questions asked i don't mind i just want you guys to check it out because i know when you take one look you're gonna want to buy it i could promise you just like my other course um the psychological the psychological game of attraction it was a hit you're gonna love this one this one is not about manipulation this is genuine natural chemistry order it now all right i'll see you guys inside peace out